You can now auto-print documents, bill of lading and commercial invoice through the output interface. When an outbound load is shipped or loaded. In an effort to streamline the outbound transportation process, a new feature allows you to automatically print or email shipping documents. What are some events that trigger the document generation? This printing can now be triggered when the outbound load status changes to loaded or shipped. When the status changes, depending upon the configuration, the bill of lading and commercial invoice will be automatically sent to the printer for printing to go along with the shipment and it can also be emailed to freight forwarders and other interested parties. So if you're making efforts toward reducing paper usage, adhering to a more sustainable green initiative, you can use the email feature. As you can imagine, the goal here is a productivity improvement as it will eliminate the need to manually print the bill of lading and commercial invoice for each load and it will also minimize user errors. Now, let me walk you through steps that are required to enable this feature. The first step is, the system needs an event trigger. In the event trigger screen, you can configure which event will trigger the generation of documents. In this case, the outbound load status has changed to loaded or shipped. When this event happens, the system will invoke the document generation. The event trigger screen consists of entity, status, document, sequence number, and enabled. To enable the configuration, click on the create icon. Select the entity. Select status as per your requirement. If you want to trigger to print or send email, when the output is loaded or when the load is shipped, select which document you want to print and set the sequence number. You can change or set documents to bill of lading or commercial invoice documents along with the status. Note, the enabled checkbox field is a flag that helps to enable or disable the event trigger. Let's decide how and where you want the document to be sent. For auto printing or auto sending the documents, the output interface configuration UI is by default set for the respective interface types. With the configuration in place, you can auto print the document to a printer or auto send documents to a static email address. This can be done by clicking on the detail icon which will direct you to the output interface target screen. Click on the create icon to set up a target. You can add multiple targets with different sequence number. This will be processed in order. Set the interface protocol to printer or email. When the interface protocol printer is selected from the dropdown, the new field printer is enabled and you can select one of the document printers from the drop-down or leave it blank to print the document to your default printer. If you select email, set the email field to a valid email address. And, if you leave the email field blank, the system will use the email configured in the user UI for user performing action, example shipped load, same for default printer. Note, document printers can be configured in the printer's UI. You can only set one valid email address at a time. Once the above steps are completed, the auto generation of documents via email or printer will be available for you. In the output interface screen, if you have set up the target to be an email, the system will send out the email. Next, you can check the context value and context key, that is the subject line for our email. The system automatically fetches the load number and key. Note, the email sent will have a subject line as auto-generated file received for, where the context key represents the entity, that is, outbound load n. The context value represents the actual outbound load number. This concludes the overview of automatic document generation during shipping. Thank you.